How much was your lawyer? $4,000. May I see the receipt? Yes. It's 4000 plus that 700 There's one. Where is your younger brother now? Uh, he's back in Washington. He didn't want to come. Who is he living with? He's living with my mom. Where are you living? Uh, I'm living in Everett. Who are you living with? Uh, with one of my friends. We're roommates. Your Honor, I also have a video I'd like you to watch of Tracy bragging that he threatened to kill me and stab me in the neck. I'd like to see it. <laughs> Were you granted a restraining order? I was. For how long? One year. Bring it on! Oh, oh yeah, on start it! Oh. He's not like you! I'm ready! He's not like you! He, of course he's not like he you! He doesn't put on me, boys! Wait for me! Guy yeah. almost walked right by me. Yeah, the one you were gonna pull your <laughs> knife on and I, kill him. I uh, oh, when I when he put officer. his gun back, I could have yeah, killed yeah, him. Yeah, he had the gun. I didn't know. It. I scared him, man. Uh, I feel I sorry for your mother. Why didn't you then, Big Shot? Fast, quick, you be with a knife in his neck, dude. I'm fast like a cat. I don't, I don't know. The dog didn't even know I was there. That's how bad I am. May I say something, Your Honor? Yes. So this is what we had to live with. And in two weeks, it was absolutely crazy. The police were at our house in a two week period over 28 times. Because of you. And they, it's because of her. Your Honor, this is how he She acts attacks my right mom. Here. That, I, that was I my mom's Your car, Honor. by the way. I was, I was defending my mother, I, you crazy. Listen to me, listen to me. The problem, Mr. Hatch, is this. She's crazy, Your Honor. Listen to me, she can be crazy in her own house. Do you understand? You're entitled to be crazy and act crazy in your house. Yes, ma'am. You're not entitled to be crazy in her house. I was crazy outside of her house. Oh, on, <laughs> on. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, ma'am. Listen, I want you to calm for one moment. Your mother came to live on her property. Yes. She wanted to be in the big house. Yes, ma'am. They let her move into the big house. It's her property, not your mom's. Yes, ma'am. You and your brother clearly were incapable of supporting yourselves. So your mother prevailed on her daughter to let you come there temporarily. That's correct. You know, I got it. You move in with five dogs. Immediately, if it were my house, I would say, you know what? I invited my brother. I didn't invite my brother and a menagerie. <laughs> now, while you're brother is there, Right. one of his dogs had a litter. So you had more than five, the litter was four, right? Yes, ma'am. So you had nine dogs and your mother had two. Yes, ma'am. And you and your younger brother were doing nothing and they were paying all the bills. They were paying the gas, the electric, the upkeep on the place, and you and your brother were doing a zippity doo dah The two of you don't get along. I don't know, either one of you or both has mental issues. That's a possibility. I don't know. But if you want to act loony, you're free to do that. If she wants to act loony, she's free to do that in her house. And you're free to do that when you get your own house. Right. But if you're going to be unemployed and incapable of taking care of yourself, you can't be loony in somebody else's house. And I don't care if you're protecting your mother, if you're protecting your mother, get a job and get a condo with her. But right now, she was living with her daughter. And before you moved in there, it was okay. Uh, it wasn't okay, man. Then she wouldn't have moved there. And she would have stayed in the little house and not moved to the big house where she wanted to be. Before you moved in, it was okay. So I find that there was absolutely no basis for you to file a restraining order against her. And I'm granting them their counsel fees, which is $4,000. We're done. Thank you. Oh, Thank you, yeah. excuse, you may step out. She's crazy. He's still jobless and still homeless. The people that know her will say the same thing what I'm telling you today. We're just happy they're gone. Our house is back to normal. She would just do what she wants to do, and she's above the law. We got the restraining order. He can't come near us.